Welcome to Epiphanis and an instructional video on how to roll out our two-part polyurethane fiberglass primer and two-part polyurethane fiberglass paint. We'll be working on a fairly rough fiberglass dinghy and take you through the three-stage process of surface prep, primer application, and finish coat. The key to any successful paint job is all in the surface prep. And this is true for all materials, including wood, steel, and of course, fiberglass. The first step in the process is to be sure that the hull surface is clean and free of loose debris, and then tape off any bright work or other vulnerable areas with a good quality masking tape. The entire surface should be wiped down with a suitable cleaner, such as our Epiphanis Fiberglass Prep Cleaner. Using lint-free disposable shop towels, wipe down the entire surface, being careful not to contaminate adjacent areas. So, fold the towel over or replace it as it becomes soiled. Also, be sure to wear gloves and keep the workspace ventilated. Once the surface has been cleaned, you can begin sanding. Whether you choose to use an orbital sander or to stand by hand, begin with 180 grit and use a light touch, then follow up with 220 grit. If you are sanding gel coat, be sure not to take it down too much. When you're finished sanding, blow or brush away the dust and wipe everything down again with our fiberglass prep cleaner. Epiphanis fiberglass filler is perfect for surface repairs and a little bit goes a long way. Thoroughly mix the filler in the can. Next, knead the tube of hardener so that it is mixed and flows freely. This will also help to eliminate any air bubbles in the final mix. Prepare a couple of clean mixing pallets. Uh, stiff cardboard works well. Now mix a heaping tablespoon or two of filler with an inch of hardener. Using the spreader, thoroughly mix the hardener and the filler. This mixture should give you, well, oh, five to 10 minutes of working time. If you add more hardener, the mixture will kick off sooner. Mix the filler in very small batches and apply it in thin layers as needed. The filler will harden and be ready to sand in about 15 minutes. Depending on the thickness of the repair, you might have to start with 180 grit discs and finish with 220. After the dust settles, clean up the surface and work area with a shop vac if possible. Now it's time for a final wipe down with solvent, this time followed by a clean tack cloth. Your hull is now ready for painting. Epiphanis polyurethane primer is a two component system that is ideal for fiberglass that is showing small cracks and irregularities or where you've used filler. On a well prepped surface, you should be able to get by with just one coat. You'll notice when you open the can of primer that it hasn't been filled to the top. That's to make room for the curing agent you'll be pouring in. Be sure to pour the entire contents of the curing agent into the primer and stir the mixture thoroughly. Our next step is to thin the primer using Epiphanis polyurethane brush thinner. Thin the primer by five to 10%. Uh, in this case, we thin to about seven and stir it in completely. Let the primer settle in the can for a few minutes before pouring it into the roller pan and beginning your painting. Begin painting with a high quality brush and cut in around all your taped areas. Once you've finished cutting in, apply the primer using a four inch Multipren foam roller. This is basically a high density foam roller with a rounded bull nose. You'll notice that the bull nose of the roller, that is the end facing away from the roller frame, is always pointing toward the wet paint. As Jason rolls a small section at a time, he's always working toward the wet paint. For even coverage, it's important not to overload the roller and keep the touch very light. It's also important not to get too far ahead of yourself when you're cutting in. This way you'll always have a wet surface on the cut to roll into.
The primer will be dry in about six hours and ready for sanding. Finish by sanding the entire primed surface by hand or with an orbital sander using 220 grit. Now that the surface has been properly prepared and primed, it's time to apply the finish coat with Epiphanis Polyurethane 2 Component Yacht Coating. The procedure here is similar to the primer application, but since this will be the finish coat, special attention must be given to creating as dust-free an environment as possible. As you will see shortly, the hull surface will once again be wiped down with Epiphanis Fiberglass Prep Cleaner, but this time it will be followed up with a tack cloth. For the final coat, we invite two friends to try their hand at the application. Neither one of them has ever worked with our finishes before. So take a few minutes and watch as our own Jason Spaulding walks them through it. The whole can went in? Yeah. I probably I won't use the whole can. Right. But it's meant to pour it in. You can just pour the hardener right in the can. It's pretty simple. How much time do you have to use? You got about two or three hours after it's mixed, so you got plenty of time to work with it. Okay. Uh, once it's in thin layers and it's put it on the surface, you don't have much time. You can't go back. You know, right. You can't be over here. Well, I got to do this over here. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. Um, because the, the air is set up. Temperature really. In here it's kind of decent, so I'm going to go probably 7%. Seven percent right there. We should get full coverage in one coat, we might not. Um, you can put whatever you need for coats on it, but you're best to do a couple coats on whatever you do. If it had already been painted once and there was already paint on there and I put one good coat on and I could be happy with it, I'd probably leave it. But if you're doing a bad primer and you're getting a nice paint job, you gotta do at least two coats probably. And how long what's the working time between So you can come in tomorrow and put another coat on without having to sand it. Okay. You've got uh, forty eight hours to come in and put a coat on without having to sand it. So you wanna let it cure overnight or yep. whatever? This is a foam roller. The difference is uh, the ones that like at Home Depot and stuff, uh, you can see them just, they look just like this, high density foam. But it's the glue that holds them on the rollers. So this one's polyester. The ones at Home Depot are just some random kind of cheap glue. So they fall apart instantly. Right. These won't fall apart. Okay. So I usually let the roller sit in there and soak up because it does swell. So it grows a little bit. And that usually freaks people out a little bit. Um, that it swells up like that, but and, and you know, you know, it's not like house painting where you're trying to get every little drop of paint out of the roller when you're rolling. You actually want to leave some in the roller t to give it some keep it keep it keep it wet, wet for uniform. Yeah. But like I said, I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah. Try to get down in the groove. Just get it close there, and I'll get the rest of the rod. Take what you have and spread it out, and then work it in. Pretty thick, so you can take this and kind of look okay. over here. I'm really building up here. Yep, so I kind of take this and I would, I would move it upwards. And just kind of picture yourself going this way. Right. At least if you spread it out. So 
Just like this. Leap. See how you got around here? So there, yeah, it's like a corona. Gentle. Okay. Kind of it's still like that in a little bit. And then you have a really good buildup of paint. But if you try and smooth it out a little bit and make it more even. Yep, I'll probably smooth out your this? roller marks a little bit. Yeah. 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 There you go. You know, all you have to do is get them, get them see how they blend it in nicely, see how kind of feathers they yeah. it'll, it'll level itself right. down there. You basically just kind of, you know, coercing it to kind of lay down a little bit. Yep. Yeah. If you get it on there smooth, it'll lay down and level itself out. Yeah. And trying to maintain a consistent thickness through the thickness. whole thing. Yep. Yeah. That's which is can be tricky for some people. Um, but you get the feel for it pretty quickly. Yeah, it, that's a kind of that's one of the things that would probably come with. You know, he remember he said start. Over right. and then work it. Back Remember? Back. Yep. And then work back into. Yep. Work into what you've already done. That'll create a nice transition. Nice even. Oh, one more paint in. Nice. You want to try it? Jason came back 24 hours later, simply tacked the hull and applied a second and final coat to the dinghy. The result is stunning. For additional information on application techniques and information on these and other Epiphanis products, email or just give us a call. We're happy to help you complete your project, whatever it may be, with a finish that you can be proud of. <laughs>